Well, good morning all. Time is 25 past seven on a Saturday morning. It's been too long, but we're back. This is Shers. Alan's. And new addition to the family. This is Joe. Joe. <laughs> to the broads. Up we go. <laughs> Saturday afternoon and the boat's all loaded and ready to go. Look at the weather, it's a beautiful sunny afternoon. Let's hope it stays like that this week. So uh, no more wasting our hand. I think it's time to, uh, to go and adventure. The great outdoors, let's do this. It's uh, five past eight on Saturday evening. We're nicely moored up on Hell Hill, and uh, Chef Lynn's here has done some cracking tea. <laughs> <laughs> it, was only, it was only pasties and soup. <laughs> I tell you what, it filled it a hole there. Quick, quick and easy to night after a, after travelling and it. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a very long day. The first one. I mean, I was up at about half five. This one was up at like three or something stupid. No, half four. Half four. But uh, yeah, we're quite exhausted. Standard for the first day. We're having early night, and then. Up bright and early, first lights, bit of breakfast, take the dog out for a mooch, and then, honestly, I've got no idea where we're going for our first mm, stop off. That's the best thing about it, though, and tips. Yeah, I mean, we've got, what, 120 miles of waterways. The Broads is our oyster. <laughs> <laughs> the Broads is our oyster. <laughs> Joe's knackered as well. He's absolutely flopped, that's what Yeah, <laughs> happy dog. Yes. So, um, we'll see you in the morning. Good night, all. Morning. <laughs> Morning. How are you doing? Cooking, cooking your breakfast. How did you right. sleep? Don't ask. <laughs> There's a horror in there. <laughs> oh, but we're waking up in style now. Oh yes. Big bad. Making oat cakes. How did you sleep? Uh, all right until something hairy woke me up in the night. Yeah, he's been in and out, in and out, in and out. I got up with him at four because he wants a wee. And then I think, as you'll see on footage and photos, he climbed in with his dad instead. And then how did you get find him? Uh, I found him pushing me out of bed. <laughs> right, it's time for Joe's early morning run. Are you ready, Joe? On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> John's turn to run the dog. Yeah. Lockdown has not been favourable for me. <laughs> Let's <Joe>? work it off. <laughs> Come on then. Joe dog. Oi. See if John goes over. Ready? Stay. On your marks. Get set. Go! I bet John goes over. <laughs> 
Well, I think that's the dog suitably walked. I think we're going to head back to the boat, take a trip down to Womack, that's the idea. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the chaos that is Ludden Bridge. It always seems to be a little hot spot here, lots of uh, boats all trying to get through in different directions at the same time. It's all going on behind me. <laughs> well, we're on the way to Womack. Uh, Muggins here took a wrong turn and I missed the turning so we've ended up at Potter Higham but uh, lucky accident because it was a nice place to stop the moor and have something to eat. Uh, good to see a uh, ship's cook here. But, uh, we are on our way back to Womack now. <laughs> There we go then, half two in the afternoon as promised and we've not long landed at Womack Water. Managed to get a mooring space which is always a bonus down here. Doggy's had a leg stretch, but uh, I fancy a lolly. It is dinner o'clock. Great Starved work. Now, oh, yeah. what a way to work, round up the day, though. It's been a bit of a funny old day because uh, we both had a bit of an issue with our body clocks, not having much kit last night, so we had a bit of a power nap in the afternoon. But uh, we charged for this evening and got a great meal to go as well. Mm. Bit of a Harry Potter this evening, and not Yeah, a bit of telly tonight and just generally chill. And tomorrow, um, thinking about um, heading down to Yarmouth, I need to have a look at the tide tables and see if it's doable, but if so, I'll make an early start in the morning. Then we'll head for Yarmouth, do the beach, all the usual bits. Yeah, fish and chip dinner. That sounds good to me. Uh, sound good to Joe and all. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to eat our dinner, watch a bit of telly, and I think this is where we say good night. Night night, guys. We'll see you in the morning. It's early morning, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. Just come sit out back. I can't see Johnny's out walking Joe. I'm doing quick breakfast in a mill. And get you some bread. Do you like some bread? just stopped off we're making good time uh, having left uh, Womack this morning uh, as you can see we're at uh, Stracey Arms which still seems to be missing its sails um, they disappeared a few years ago but they haven't come back yet but uh, we've just stopped off a uh, bite to eat give the dog a bit of a stretch have a bit of a look around and of course as a tradition you have to stop and say hello to the donkeys Continuing along the bureau then, on our way to Yarmouth, uh, Lindsay's at the wheel doing a great job. I think we're probably about, about half an hour away from the station. As is tradition again, uh, I think we're going to be doing a barbecue tonight. We're making um, marinating steaks, peppered sausages and burgers today for the barbecue. Awesome.
Well, we made it. Yarmouth Yacht Station, Edinburgh. Already, here yeah, the sun's shining. Picked a beautiful day for it. Barbecue I think it, and beach. Yeah, it's beach time. Let's do it. <laughs> You big scaredy girl. There we go then, Yarmouth Beach. It's a bit windy, but it's nice and warm and sunny. Monday afternoon and here we are outside the yacht station opposite the boats with our barbecue going um, only problem oh it's starting to oh, brown it's going. yeah we're having a bit of an issue with heat or lack thereof but uh, we'll either stick it out here or finish it off in the oven and cheat I think it's going to be going in the oven to be honest with you <laughs> we'll be out here at midnight <laughs> we will eat sausages at some point <laughs> morning all Morning. He does this when I, my eyes everywhere, <laughs> seriously, every time. Come yeah, on, she's still beautiful. <laughs> um, just getting set up this morning. It's not long ago out of bed, have we? So, uh, first things first, before you do anything on the broads, you need a brew. <laughs> shopping earlier on my list and I'm shouting through to John can you add a few more things I forgot for me I'm going around the store and I'm completely baffled look what he's put on the list your child <laughs> <laughs> you're a knob I can't help it I'm nine and I'm supposed to be the childish one Well, we're back where we were sort of about this time yesterday. I'm um, just uh, parked up outside Stracey Arms just for a few minutes. I think we can have a sandwich or something. Again, looks like we've got very lucky with the moorings and the weather as well. Beautiful sunny afternoon as we are moored up at Ramworth Stays. Looks like we're going to be spending the night here. Then's just in the boat at the moment, uh, knocking up a bit of pizza and a bit of curry for this evening. So, all good. <laughs> we know up now. <laughs> Well, it's uh, half past ten at night and we are outside St Helens in Ramworth 
because um, we're going to do a ghost hunt. Now, <laughs> just walking up here alone has been enough to scare Lindsay. Um, a passing heron made a scream. I have caught a ghostly figure. <laughs> and I'm dead colour. <laughs> so there was going to go round on myself. Absolutely no chance. Right, we're going in. <laughs> Look, that streak again. There's definitely a, a presence following us because I've had that on three now. Go on, you first, Joe. We'll follow you. Come on. No, I don't go. He's pulling back. They say dog sense things. I've just heard something. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go back this way? I don't like it up there. And on the next episode of <laughs> Most Haunted, Linz is scared of her own shadow. I think that'll do us for tonight. Time for bed, I think. What do you reckon, Linz? <laughs> no, no, guys. No, no, at all. <laughs> Well, good morning YouTube, how are we doing? It's Wednesday morning, about half eight, and uh, we've not long got up. It's, uh, the wind seems to have got up this morning and it's given us a rather sleepless night with the water bashing against the side of the boat for the last few hours, but uh, we're up and about now anyway. Something hairy spent the night with me again last night. Kept fidgeting about until I let him have his side of the bed. <laughs> the greyhounds have control, they really do. <laughs> Linz is on breakfast duties. Oh good, <laughs> <up> this morning. <laughs> right, woman, I'm hungry. Where's my <laughs> breakfast? Cooking there, uh, so it's doing in the oven now. Wow. Wow. Just doing the oatcakes and the cheese and the tomatoes. And I'll dish you up. We'll grow up. <laughs> Well, we stopped off here at Cockshit Dykes, and it's on the way to Roxham. Um, just been to have a look uh, to go up the boardwalk to the little nature hide at the end, but for some reason it's all blocked off to the public. I don't know how long that's been like that for, but uh, we did a wander around where you moor the boats. It turns out there's another pathway that goes down here. I've never seen that before, I don't know where it goes, never been down it before. Let's find out. So we're off to investigate. <laughs> Okay, so we're just heading into Roxham now. I've just uh, found the bridge pilots and they'll be taking us under in a few minutes. So we're just gonna go around here, around the corner, and all rocks temporarily next to the bridge, and they'll come and take over. Some broads and the swans. Oh, I absolutely love the swans. We've got a very naughty one here, and every year, which is uh, we do, we just do it every year. It's feed the swans by hand. <laughs> Comes a bit keen. <laughs> you were stupid for not doing. You dead me. <laughs>
Well, uh, good morning all. And um, we're back after a night's kip here at Coltishaw. Just been doing a spot of magnet fishing. And uh, just about to head off in a few minutes. We're gonna uh, take the river down, pretty much about the way we came, but stop in a few places on the way. And uh, hopefully at the end of the day, we'll be uh, moored up at Sal House. All's good in the hood. I really do enjoy this little bit of river down here, it's so lovely and secluded. But uh, we've been really lucky all this week, didn't really know what to expect because this is pretty much the first week back since they opened the broads after lockdown and did wonder if it was going to be absolute chaos with boats everywhere but it really hasn't been the case and um, we've moored pretty much everywhere we want to moor. We're not overrun with day boats and crazies going down the river, it's been beautiful. Then the only part of the week where the boat is under expert control. There we go then, into the afternoon and look where we've ended up. Salas Broad, this is uh, one of our favourite stops, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to go wander the dog about a bit. So I've just been talking to Mark and Lynn over on the Lady Rita on the boat next to us, and apparently they're a fan of Lindsay's cooking. <laughs> Bit of broad boat cooking, you're really famous for it now. Cheese and onion crest parties. <laughs> Follow us for more cooking tips. <laughs> well, there's a lot of smoke, but that's just coming from the fat, and uh, I think that's worked this time. That looks like it's cooking to me. It's very messy. Yeah, now you can see it. Joe, what do you think? And we've got a fella here that really wants to be invited to the barbecue. And dinner is served. All right, Bob. <laughs> well, good morning, all. Um, what day are we on today? Friday. Friday. Um, Best way to start the day, a bit of morning exercise, and what could be better than the uh, <laughs> climbing frame here at Sal House? Um, we're going to time each other. Oh, we're the next one. Are you feeling confident? Yeah. Let's see. On your mark, get set, go. Funny bits on it. Back to the start. Oh! And stop. And that was a grand time <laughs> of 28 seconds point 10. On your marks. Get set. Go. Fail. Try that again. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Great. I ask him after I've stopped laughing. <laughs> On your marks. Get set. Go. Subscribe. <laughs>
Okay, you okay? 14 seconds, point nine. <laughs> That's how we do that. <laughs> Well, it's been a while since we've been able to say it, but good morning from Horning. We finally managed to get a space. This is St Ben's Abbey and what it looks like during the day and it's a, quite an interesting walk around but of course it takes on quite a different feel um, when the sun goes down doesn't it? <laughs> it's alright, <laughs> I've gone in by myself and everything. We're planning coming back um, and trying uh, Most Haunted Woodlands and Shears part two tonight. Yeah, we will be back here tonight. Okay, well you join us here outside St Bennett's Abbey, it's about ooh, half ten at night and according to my ghost book, there was supposed to be the ghost of a treacherous monk that was hung from the gatehouse here and apparently his spirit still hangs around the abbey late at night. Can our Lynns spend a few minutes inside there on her own? What do you reckon Lynns? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Okay guys, we're going in. I think you need to stay up here for a minute on your own. I'm going to put this camera here. Good luck. One minute and one minute only. Come on Joe. let have a look around the building. anything behind me. Don't you dare jump out on me. <laughs> I can't, I know what he's going to do, he's going to jump out on me. I can't see him. I'm eating cheers. Joe, where are you hiding? Blah! Oh, you dickhead! <laughs> <laughs> Time has finally come. It is Saturday morning, of course, and we've had to get up early. It's a bit after seven, not long left to bed. It's and we're just cruising up the ant in on what is a very misty morning, getting our way back to the boatyard in time for the, the uh, half nine handover. There we go, 
hut's the end of another week. Um, we've just left the boatyard, but uh, Missy here was hungry, so we stopped off at the uh, Macadies at Roxham. <laughs> So talking of this dog, I think he's done very well this week, don't you, Lens? Yeah, he really has. <laughs> Been great. First holidays. So yeah, a bit of breakfast for us and then it's a very long drive back to Stoke, but uh, it's been worth it, hasn't it? I've had a great week. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> so, as always, till next year, YouTube. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.